our movements for any expression of bigotry. I mean it. Zero tolerance. In 1970, I was part of a very large student movement at Columbia. Opposing another racist, imperialist, misogynist war. The Vietnam War and its extension in the bombing of Laos and Cambodia. We occupied Fairweather Hall for days. And we set up a free child care center there for neighborhood residents. The horrific terror of the powerless that killed 1,200 civilians in no way justifies the industrial terror of the powerful that has now killed fully 10 times as many innocent civilians, a third of them children. You are calling upon us to stand by our moral vision of this world. Keep standing up. Yeah. I, along with the hundreds of other anti-Zionist Jewish current students and alums of Barnard and Columbia, fight for a free Palestine because we are Jewish. Reinstate SJP and JDP immediately. I implore you not to use false accusations of anti-Semitism to justify your silence and silencing. Not in our name now or ever, and never again for anyone. Throughout those years, I also saw a different light. I saw it on my first nights on this campus when students gathered to march around this campus in protest of the death-dealing industrial uh, prison industrial complex. I saw it in the Intercultural Resource Center and Q House and Casa Latina and Pan Ab House where students learn to care for each other and organize within each other's spaces for mental health and well-being. And I saw it on my last day when members of my class marched across the stage with red tapes on our caps to signify our displeasure with the university's handling of sexual assaults, refusing to shake hands with the dean and remain complicit even on our last day. Every step I took on this campus in my studies, in my community, every step in between, for black lives, for immigrants, for workers' rights, for climate justice, for freedom of speech, and yes, with SJP and JVP for Palestine. Feminism has always been a central driving force behind every radical yes. struggle for peace. Yes. From its beginning, Zionism was aimed at achieving demographic superiority from the river to the sea. Through mass transfers, death, incarceration, and control over marriages and childbearing. What, after all, is genocide but prevention of a whole people's reproduction through willful displacement, starvation, and denial of every necessity of life? And I want to affirm what we already know is that the university already knows this. They saw this light in 68, they saw it in 84, they saw it in 2014, and they see it now. In this light, the administration will see the light. In Palestine's light, the world will see the light. These words specifically go to President Shafiq. We come to you as alumni of Columbia University to personally inform you that we will withhold all our donations to the university until the following demands are met.